live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and we've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony at the table with me, and the fourth member of our crew, David Aldridge, our sideline reporter. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at Atlanta, things going their way so far in this season. Right now, they lead the pack up front in the first spot with the best record. And you know, right now for Atlanta, they've been taking no prisoners here in the early part of the season. It's been a very fast start and a lot of focus for this group. They were in midseason form right off the bat. And like you said, that focus, it shows how determined this group is to make this a season to remember. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Hunter is out there with DeAndre Hunter. And it's Ryan in at the three spot. And for Golden State, we've got Richardson. Barry is out there with Garnett. Then there's Chamberlain. And it's Curry in at the point. Well, Steve, there shouldn't be any shortage of scoring in this game. Both teams feature high-powered offensive attacks. And given how potent each offense can be, defense will be just as important. We know these teams can score. Now we'll see who has the advantage defending. Good on the triple. Three points. So when you watch Trey Young, he sort of glides around the floor. Then he can stop on a dime. The jump hook. And he Chamberlain drops it in. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Here's Murray. Chamberlain with the rebound. Here's Barrett, defended by Young, and Hunter over to help. Garnett kicks to Curry. Drills it from outside. Quick off the draw. This is how fast Steph Curry can get it on. Pass to Hunter from the arc. A three-pointer is right on target. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each Barry. other from range. Yeah. Three for four now. I like the pace for them on offense. Feeds away. Hunter no good. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. Here's Richardson. Got a hand on it. Here's Ryan, who's averaging around five and a half points a game. Bangs home the trifecta. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach Off seemed to fall five. flat, didn't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry first, or the younger players still five. growing into their roles, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline, and that's Steph Curry's. Shoots the ball as well as any big. Very versatile. Out on the floor. Garnett draws a lot of contact here. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Kevin Garnett. Two shots. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. And that passion that Garnett plays with is really infectious. He's always talking and trying to get himself and his guys going. Pass to Hunter. Fader on the way. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And this team looking to get him the ball and get him in rhythm quickly. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. And DeJounte Murray gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Mullins checked in for the Warriors. Number 17, Chris Mullins. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Hands it from downtown. Yeah, we, we all know Rick Barry can create for himself. But we get to see there what kind of passing skills he also possesses. What a sensational feat. Now, here is Young. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Six changes of the lead here. Yeah, both teams still kind of feeling their way through this game. Curry can't get it to go. 
and here's Hunter. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it'll be the first of only two meetings between the teams. Very difficult game to predict. They are not familiar with each other. I expect to see a lot of in-game adjustments tonight on both sides. Now, here's Hunter. He has five. Young pass to Murray. Five to shoot. The basket good. The Off the assist for Young. Young's got four assists in the game. Pass to Chamberlain. Curry against Young. Picks it out to Mullen. Drains it from beyond the arc. Mullen's got six. And this is where Mullen is most dangerous. A consistent three-point shooter with textbook form. Young pass to Hunter, and they pick up two. Warriors trail by five, and the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. And he provides that deterrent around the rim, ranking among the top 15 league-wide in blocks per game. And as you said, one of the NBA's most potent scorers, always up to the challenge. His top five ranking has him right there with the elite, Curry. And he uses the glass on the way. Curry's got his second bucket. We don't talk enough about how great Steph is at finishing inside. He's one of the best. Young pass to Hunter. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. And that kick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. And it's Chamberlain finishing it off. And how about the anticipation and imagination there from Unsell? Sees the play developing and delivers the pass on time and on target. Now here's Murray. 25 points last game. Here's Ryan. Another three for Atlanta. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Murray against Mullen. It's blocked. And here's Young from the arc. Another three for Atlanta. Three pointer. This is how fast Trey Young gets his shot off, which is why he's so tough to guard. On the pass to Chamberlain. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. The uncanny ability to time the tip in. He does this night in and night out. Young pass to Hunter. Curry with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. And stolen by Hunter. Young from outside, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Atlanta heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We come back right after this. again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. Well, from what you guys are seeing from the Hawks, what are you thinking about their performance? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. Mullen is out there with Garnett. Then it's Thompson, and it's Pritchard in at the point guard position. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Garnett with it. Guarded by Hunter. Pritchard gets the bucket. Ooh, he got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. 
Joseph, the pass to Hunter. He got right to the cup using that screen. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. In a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And the other thing I've been impressed with, guys, is their assertiveness at attacking the paint, trying to hunt for those high percentage looks. Now here's Garnett. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Hey, guys, I'm starting to be concerned that the rim ain't going to survive some of these unsell jams. There's just so much power to his game. It's Martin on the wing, defended by Mullen. Atlanta again, missing. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Now a timeout called by Golden State. checked in and Steve we're not seeing as many back-to-back -back games as we used to that's been a point of emphasis in the scheduling in recent years it takes time to bounce back after every game and credit the NBA for cutting down on these back-to-backs fewer of them means healthier players and pressure layers so accurate as a shooter from that mid-range Richardson someone you've got to try to take that away from Joseph finds Bogdanovich now, Hunter, pass to Barton, fires the three. Garnett grabs the board. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. And that one goes long. The Hawks leading by seven. Pass to Hunter. Over on seven. A rare miss for him. The Warriors have gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. And there's a whistle that goes on Corey Joseph. That is his first foul of the game. Thompson, he's checked in for Mullen. For your Warriors, number 11, Clay Thompson. On defense, Atlanta. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Fires away from way outside. Rebound by the Hawks. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. Yeah, proficiency from range, away from home, much easier said than done. They played a terrific ball game. Yeah, and you can see the crowd's reaction with every make. It wasn't pretty. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. And that one's good, Hunter. Such a versatile player. Bondanovich does a great job reading the floor and finding his teammates. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. This goes to Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says, the way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, and I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. When you've played alongside as many superstars as Clay has, you're conditioned to make sure others are fed. Martin dishes to Hunter. Thompson over Unso. The rebound by Garnett. And so it's Garnett who brings up the ball for the Warriors. Trailing by 13. But sometimes it's more about what the defense is doing on that possession. They were all over him on the perimeter. First personal foul. And a moment now to check out who the Warriors have coming up on their schedule. At the line for the on Saturday, they'll take on Chris Middleton and the Milwaukee Bucks. And then on Thursday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the Orlando Magic. You know, some might look ahead at the schedule and start marking off how many wins they'll wind up with, but I think that's a trap. You can't take any nights off in the NBA, and you've got to stay in the moment. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Chamberlain comes in for Garnett, and Mullen subbed in for Clay Thompson. That's good offense. Curry's always creating for himself, 
Four for a teammate. A three, Hunter. The Hawks again can't hit. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Here's Richardson. And it's blocked. It goes out of bounds. Abound. Last touch by Hunter. State basketball. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swap that ball. Garnett is yeah, checked in for the Warriors. Yeah. Barry comes Ray. in for Mullen. Barry. One ten left to play here in the half. Shot clock at six. Chamberlain a screen from 18 feet away. Hunter grabs the miss. Hunter's got rebound number five here tonight. Beyond the arc. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Curry can't get it to go. The Hawks leading by 16. The three from Joseph. Hunter, the pass to Hunter. Hunter kicks to Joseph. Another three for Atlanta. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now here's Curry. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Clippers. Oh, so a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. A three from Bogdanovich. Another three for Atlanta. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. The end Even the with a big lead, four. they've maintained their focus. 32. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. And with as many three-pointers as they've drained, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. With Coach Quinn Snyder, Quinn, what has to happen in the second half? Well, we got to keep getting stops and really just make plays. Make plays on the offensive end and, and be solid defensively. No, no magic. It's a pretty simple game, right, Coach? Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. The story tonight, everything, and I mean everything, is working well for the Atlanta Hawks. Man, I would have loved to play on this team. They share the ball, that movement that creates openings for other guys and converting them into very high percentage shots. Yeah, I just glanced at the numbers. They have more assists in one half than some teams have in a whole game. And now let's take a moment to look at the upcoming games on the schedule. Yeah, they got to like the look of their next few games. Some soft targets in there. That's no reason to take it easy on them. Got to drop that hammer. Boo -boo. Big fella not cutting them any slack. That's how we do it here at 2K. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You know, Big Dog has been really making it happen, guys. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Checking out the group for Quinn Snyder to start the second half. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Okong Wu is out there with Harris, and it's Hunter in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Curry way outside. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. 
A chance now to check out the NBA's most efficient scores. You take a look at Hunter, leading the league in field goal percentage. He always gets good looks. And, of course, DeJounte Murray right behind him. You can't say enough about these two guys shooting this season. Both their percentages, just incredible stuff. A nice shot by Young. I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home, another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Here's Chamberlain back to Richardson. The basket good off the assist from Chamberlain. Richardson's got six. And of all the attributes, one thing that sometimes gets overlooked with Chamberlain is the court vision. Makes a great read there. And the basket is good. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Steve, what I love about a Kong Wu is how he uses his body and gets the most out of it. Kevin, he has crazy athleticism for an undersized center. He's stout on defense and uses that quickness when he has the ball. From deep, Richardson. Nice reaction defensively. Murray with great body control. He's a hard guy to shake. It's a Love it, love it. This is well, Trey now that Young. they've settled into this game, you can see the offense is firing on all cylinders. Yeah, the reason why they made the adjustments they needed to make. They are executing. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And it's not uncommon to see arguments boil over between teammates, Steve. Sports has a different line than most professions, don't you think? I do, Kevin. I agree. The physicality and competition factors into that. Most of these guys, you don't argue, but if you have a common goal of winning, usually that takes care of everything. And Greg, one of the finer points of the new collective bargaining agreement, players in the G League Ignite or overseas no longer automatically entering the NBA draft when they turn 19. Yeah, it, it makes sense. You think about players in college, they choose when to enter the draft. So only right to give pros that same amount of time. Young with no one around. Trey and he's good on the three ball. Young's got 12 points in the game. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there. And he's been relentless. Yeah, the defender all over. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Kevin Garnett. A free throw good from Kevin Garnett. And both free throws good from Garnett. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. And that game will be game three of five away from home. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Will Chamberlain picks one up. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Atlanta shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And he's good on the second. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Garnett against Okongwu. Here's the three, and the three ball is good. He has seven. He's an asset in helping space the floor. He has tremendous touch from range. Here's Young into the lane, and he Trey banks in the layup. This is how Trey Young beats you with quickness and skill. And here's Richardson outside. Another three for Golden State. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Young dishes to Okongwu for three. Harris, and it's Curry with the rebound. Yeah, but the defenders draped all over him. He just could not shake loose. And stolen by Murray. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. No coverage that time. Trey Young. Three points. Young's got 11 points here in just the second half. Curry outside. Rebound by the Hawks. 
Hunter's got rebound number eight now on the night. Two minutes. Just a solid performance Two on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. I just love this kid's fearlessness. Goes right at him. Draws contact. It doesn't matter to him. Driving inside. The shot's good from Barry. Barry. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Steph Curry has changed the game, but he's going to be hard to emulate. Steve Kerr says he has maybe the best hand-eye coordination in the world. Coach is not bad in his own right as the career leader in three-point percentage, but in their free throw competitions, Steve says he swishes everything. The guy's annoying. I can't beat him. Kevin? <laughs> All right. All right, David. Thank you. <laughs> Murray outside. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Murray's got nine points. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. I can't believe he hasn't hit a shot all period. Someone else needs to step up and help close the gap. Warriors have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Five seconds separating the shot and game blocks. And again, no good by Golden State. He kicks to Okongwu, feeds it to Hunter. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta out of bounds. able to keep the ball here. And he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head, forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Here's Okongwu. Oh, close the buzzer being dunk. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks. Way out in front. Their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. We gain control. Come on now. Every pass, every possession, play with a purpose. We talked about this, all right? Solid play every time. Right now. Oh, some fire in Coach Kerr's voice right there. Greg demanding his team kick it up a notch. How about the intensity from the coach there? Less than happy with his team's effort right now. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. We've got Stephen Curry. Owen is out there with Kuminga. And it's Richardson. And it's Unseld in at the five spot. That's the Warriors' five. In the corner, Murray with it. Over Richardson. And there's Murray on the assist from Young. Murray's got nine points now in just the second half. Passes it to Unseld. Kuminga with it. Okongwu covering. Now here's Kuminga. He's covered closely. Unsell. Rebounded by the Hawks. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Murray the pass to Young. For a three, Harris knocks down the three ball. Harris has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Curry with the bounce pass. Kaminga finds Richardson. Kaminga, no good. The Hawks shooting has been sensational. 75% for the game. Young pass to Murray. Back to Young. Hawks passing it around. A nice shot by Harris. And they Three have points. been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. Here's Unsell, and dumps it right on top of Trey Young. Wow! Ooh, 
That's an old-fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Harris misses. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. No problem knocking that one down. What a turnaround for him since the half. More aggressive and more effective. The pass to Okongwu. Here's Hunter. Rouse ah! contact on the foul. shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. First personal foul. Down the stretch. First this is when foul. they need him the most, and he Two is delivering. Hunter. And what do you guys think Hunter. so far about the offensive approach for the Hawks? They are making it rain from the three-point land right now, and the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. And also, guys, they push the ball and been able to score in transition. Trying to take advantage of playing in the open floor as often as possible. Golden State's gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. What do you think of the league's most recent CBA, Greg? That seven-year deal just signed. Oh, well, Kevin, the NBA and Players Association both need to be commended. Labor peace through the rest of the decade. Most pro sports don't have this kind of stability. No good on the second free throw. Hawks have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Hunter against Chamberlain. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Second. Hill Chamberlain picks one up. Second team foul. Shooting for Atlanta, Hunter. Two the free shots. throw drops for Hunter. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Pass to Richardson for Murray. Off the left rim and out. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. And here's Young from the arc. Trey Gets it to go Young. for bucket number eight. He's taken just ten shots. What an effort by Trey Young. He found a way to score. Curry passes to Chamberlain. Shoots a fader. Shock up two there. When you have space like he did there, you never go with the fadeaway jumper. He has to attack the rim next time. Two minutes. That's two minutes. Kong two minutes. Deep two for Murray. It's Young on the wing. Curry with the steal. For the finish, and it's slammed in by Garnett. Incredible hand-eye coordination of Steph Curry. Shows up in his dribbling, but also when he's out there still in the rock. Murray, good. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Atlanta. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And this will be a big win for them. Lucky win number 13 now in the bag. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Big Dog. Throughout the night, he was their catalyst at the offensive end. Play after play was run through him with great success. And knocking down shots in the mid-range area really forces teams to have to adjust their defense. And you know, the adjustment should have already been made. They know he's a good shooter from that spot. Yeah, they sucked the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't beat tennis if coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. 
Well, what did Coach tell us? He wanted each guy to contest shots and rebound tonight. That's exactly what we just saw. And so it's the Hawks taking care of business in this one. Thank you. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. Now, I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that about wraps it up. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game, Big Dog.